In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and we are watching Umar Linguistics and it's a bilingual linguistics channel. So today we are going to talk about language. Is language a culturally transmitted phenomena both in humans and animals or not? So actually this lecture is a continuum of chapter 2 and the book The Study of Language by George Joule. So actually in the first lecture uh, in the origins of language I told you that if we are going to follow the book The Study of Language by George Joule. And why we are going to discuss this book because this is the most uh, basic book regarding linguistics uh, and one of the best sellers in general linguistics uh, even in applied linguistics and it different and its different branches it's not a specifically book a purely uh, applied linguistics book or a purely general linguistics books but it covers many areas of linguistics both of applied as well as general linguistics so uh, this lecture is 12 uh, which we can call the cultural transmission simply and we are going to do discuss this phenomena both in humans and animals in last lecture we talked about arbitrariness and i will give you the link in the description of arbitrariness below so because i am coming after a lot of months uh, making uh, this video in english this video uh, is already in urdu language so uh, as i told you in the first lecture of the study of language by george Joule, which i made in english the first lecture in english so, and uh, there i told that i have already uh, made these videos in urdu and now i am making all these videos in english as well so in this way it will be a bilingual linguistics channel so i hope uh, you would like it and you may give me any sort of suggestions uh, i am all ways ready for this and i always acknowledge because no one is perfect we are all here to learn something even i am learning uh, by teaching and i am learning by conveying my knowledge by exploring uh, some knowledge and sharing with you so uh, let's talk about today's lecture so uh, by word uh, you uh, could have some ideas that what we are going to talk about that is language is a culturally transmitted phenomena in humans and animals or not so first of all we will discuss cultural transmission in humans so we are inherited physical features from our parents such as hair color eyes face and you know in this era when there is a lot of research in genetics so we know uh, dna rna and how dna and rna is transmitted from one generation to the other so that's why uh, humans uh, that's why the children have several physical features like uh, their parents uh, but uh, this is not the case with language because we acquire language from our culture uh, you may have observed uh, such incidents and you may have some examples like this that a child may born in America but brought up in Hol Holland and he or she must speak Dutch language and vice versa vice versa means the same phenomenon will happen if a child may born in Holland and then uh, th that child is transferred in very early age to America and then he will start he or she will start speaking English language so language is a culturally transmitted uh, phenomena in human beings that we learn language through our culture we don't uh, acquire language or we are uh, we are not inherited language by our parents just like uh, our physical features like hair color eyes face and other uh, you can say physical traits uh, if we move uh, if a child is born in pakistan and he, then he trans uh, he or she transfers or he or she goes to another country where another language is being spoken so he or she will learn that language so language has cultural uh, cultural effect uh, or language acquisition is a culturally transmitted phenomenon uh, 
and uh, you can say this is uh, the definition the process whereby knowledge of a language is passed from one generation to the next this is called cultural transmission uh, you may read this book and I have already uploaded a video about best books for basic linguistics uh, then cultural transmission in animals so uh, is there is uh, is there a same case in animals as well or there is a different case so animals are born with a set of specific signals that are produced instinctively so this word is enough to explain that animals uh, are not uh, do not learn language through their culture but animals are born with uh, instinct uh, with an instinct to speak a language so therefore uh, you may observe uh, orangutan you may observe gorillas you may observe monkeys in one part of the world and you may observe monkeys in other part of the world but they speak almost the same language almost the same so sounds almost the same signals because animals are born with uh, an instinct to produce a language they do not need a specific culture and there are some uh, evidence from bird studies uh, that they combine their instinct uh, which is in their inborn capacity to uh, to speak some sounds B but they they combine their instinct with learning or exposure in order for the right song to be to be, uh, to be produced so what the, what does it mean that when words uh, when sorry when birds are born so they hear some sounds from other birds and then uh, in a few weeks they start producing those sounds as well but they uh, but even if they do not uh, if the uh, if those birds spent their first seven weeks without hearing any kinds of any kind of sounds from other birds uh, even then they produce some songs however in a little bit abnormal way uh, but if human beings if human beings do not listen any kind of sounds so they are unable to produce uh, any kind of sound instinctively unless and until uh, they have uh, you can say they have the influence of cultural surrounding them or oh, human uh, it means that human beings will produce language only when only when they listen to uh, uh, their cultures their environment uh, and uh, uh, this phenomenon we also uh, discussed uh, when uh, many people tried uh, to judge that uh, which is uh, the uh, divine language in human uh, in humans and they kept many children in isolation to understand or to observe that which language they will speak and most of them or you can say all of them were unable to produce any kind of sounds and this same phenomena uh, we can uh, study in a very uh, recent uh, study which was on Jenny a child who was kept in isolation for 12 to thir 13 years uh, from his father uh, because his father uh, her father uh, didn't uh, want any kind of noise and uh, that child uh, did not have any kind of exposure from human beings unless from uh, from her mother and even uh, her mother was also prohibited to speak any kind of sounds and uh, in 12 to t 13 years she didn't produce any kind of sounds because she was not born with an instinctive capacity just like animals so in animals their uh, language is instinct even those birds who could not listen any kind of sound from other birds in seven weeks even then they start producing sounds on their own although they were in, ob in an abnormal way but they were producing those songs but this is not the case in human beings and when uh, actually i have made this video about jenny in urdu but uh, i'll also make that video in english for a better understanding so this is all about today's lecture and in the next lecture we are going to discuss about productivity productivity which is another property of human language and we are going to discuss in last in next lecture that whether productivity uh, 
uh, is same both in animals and human or not so this is all about today's lecture and if you have observed any kind of problem or if you haven't understood any thing so you may give me comments and you may provide your feedback so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers thank you